Kartik says, designing color and decoration to have good field dashboard. How can I improve this design skill? Uh, this is a very, very good question. And, um, and something that most people who are doing data analysis work or customer facing roles where you have to prepare stuff, but also present it to audience or share it with wider public, uh, you need to start thinking early on in your career. So I'll tell you how I learned. So let's talk about five tips to improve your database skills. The first one is read or learn about designing in itself. This is something that we don't learn in school or college normally. So what happens is when we start designing things, it could be charts, it could be presentations, it could be reports. Sometimes we approach it wrongly. So this is where my recommendation is to get the non-designers design book. This is a really simple book. You could probably read it in maybe a day or half a day. And this is one of the best things that I have done early on in my career. So I think I read this book all the way back in either 2007 or eight or maybe around that time. And it has greatly improved the way I design all my dashboards, reports, and think about anything that I design, even if it is my website or YouTube channel for that matter. So read a book like that, non-designers design book. Another great book is Don't Make Me Think. So these two are very good books. Uh, I'll have a link for them in the video description. Feel free to get it from there or from your local library. And the second thing that you should also do is learn a little bit more about the data visualization choices itself. Uh, that means, you know, when you're trying to make a chart for your Excel or Power BI, uh, you're often presented with 20 to 30 different chart types in that application. And what it does is it confuses you and sometimes we end up choosing the wrong type of a chart or wrong settings that can mess up the whole thing. So learn about the data visualization skills. Um, where do you get this information? Again, uh, it could you could kind of learn this from a colleague or you can follow some online articles. But if you want a, another recommendation, I got the perfect book for you. So it is these books. Um, the first one is uh, Storytelling with Data. So it's by Cole Nussbaum and Naflik, and it's a very good book. It kind of um, an easy read and it will walk through various charting decisions uh, and how you can kind of present the data and all of that. So definitely worth checking out and learning from this book. Another book, if you are a bit more advanced, is the Better Data Visualization by Jonathan Schwabish. Um, again, uh, a great book. Both of these are in color, which means um, when you are reading about it, uh, you can actually see the output graphs in color and then relate them to how they look on your target application, whether it is Excel, Power BI or Tableau. So definitely worth re reading them, either get them from a library or borrow it from one of your friends or better still purchase them for your personal library so that that will be helpful. And the third tip, uh, this is even more important than learning, is to do a lot of experimentation. So whatever you are learning, uh, there is no absolute truth. Like, you know, this is the only best chart or this is the only worst chart kind of a thing. A lot of how people read information and understand it is quite subjective. So this is where whatever you are learning, you should go and experiment it out on your audience. So let's say you read about a technique for making a bar chart, go and implement it, experiment it, and change some things about it from what you're learning. So test it out different ways, see your audience reaction, and then kind of take the feedback from it so that you can improve your design skills. So design is an iterative process, and that's why uh, in order to be a good designer, you need to kind of think about uh, what works and what doesn't work and keep testing it. So even to this day, whenever I'm designing things, I always test out by trying out something new or something different to kind of see the reaction of my readers or students or my customers. And the fourth thing, uh, this is again very, very powerful and has been quite helpful in my journey when I'm learning about data visualization is uh, try to replicate or recreate 
uh, any interesting visualization that you come across. For example, early on in my learning time, I would read a lot of articles and data visual stories in the New York Times, uh, and I try to recreate some of them um, for uh, using Excel. So they would be probably using uh, JavaScript uh, frameworks like D3.js or something, whereas I would try to recreate them using Excel and I would also publish them as blog articles, um, but uh, primarily to teach myself new and innovative ways of presenting the data. So try to replicate, recreate or copy from popular things that are working. So for example, you like a particular chart that you see on my YouTube channel and you think this would be great for my upcoming presentation go ahead and replicate it on your own that way you are learning you are you are kind of implementing things and you will your design skills will grow in the last thing this is uh, of the five things this is the most important is anytime you are designing anything think about your audience so because you are making them so that someone else can read it so if you are making a presentation so your boss can kind of understand what is going on think from their direction and prepare. So that means you need to not cater to your needs, but you're catering to their needs. Uh, you're also thinking about how they would perceive information. What is their intellectual level? What is their uh, industry understanding and all of that and present at that level or prepare at that level. So think from their direction rather than from your direction and that will make all of your designs work beautifully. So I hope you found these five short tips helpful. I'll see you again somewhere else. Bye.